What's good, gang? It's your boy Black Genie, and today we back with a new video, guys. Hey, gang, you guys already see it. We're back with Fairy Tale right now, and I'm not even gonna lie, I'm pretty hyped because last episode was not too long ago for me. I'm not even gonna lie, I don't know how long it'll take to post it. I've been busy lately, but last episode we had crazy stuff going on. Something that I'm expecting to happen in this arc, I'm gonna just say it right off top, is death. Like, after Charla had her vision, I'm gonna just straight it right off top. I'm expecting death to happen, and last episode, I kind of felt like it was gonna happen, even though Natsu swooped in and saved Evergreen and Elfman from the dude with the black hair. They haven't even said his name yet. And then I'm just like, he started crying, and I'm like, all right, this is actually looking kind of predictable. Like, you have to know Natsu already. You saying his name, you said it before we even seen you see him, and you started crying. And like I said last episode, guys, I'm thinking this dude already know Natsu. He's probably related to him. A brother, a cousin, or something. A best friend, or something. Because you don't just randomly see someone like that and you just start crying emotionally like that. And it's like, this person doesn't like he's bad. He doesn't like he can control magic and stuff like that. So I don't know what's really going on here. We're finna see what's up. But at the same time, Natsu looked like he was kind of mad. He does not know who he's in front of. So... It's looking a little unpredictable there. So I don't know what's gonna happen. We finna check out this episode. We finna see what we finna see what's gonna happen. I'm really hyped right now because I'm expecting death, guys. Charla did see a vision of Natsu looking like he was grieving, and this arc is already going hype. Unless that vision was Natsu crying with Gildarts uh, putting that glare on him. And I did look back at it, it wasn't that because he was not in that little fucking cave, whatever, you know what I mean? So it's not that. So I'm just really expecting something crazy to happen. But I ain't gonna say too much, y'all. We finna get into the episode right now. And you guys already know, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you guys enjoy these reactions like that. And if you guys want the full reaction, early reaction, it will be on Patreon. It's playing your whole boy channel, you feel me? Once we become a full content creator, all these videos are gonna be coming out like every day. You already know that. But I ain't gonna say too much. We finna get into the reaction. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned on. Straight into it or what? Oh, yup. Grass dying, all this shit. Not to literally save them. And you're talking about don't scare me like that. I thought y'all was gonna die. This nigga literally crying. Not to. He looking like he's mad, but at the same time, he don't look like too crazy mad. And I don't know if I should still skip this OP, but just to be safe, I'm gonna skip it because this arc is looking hype. I don't wanna get no more teasers. Nothing. You know what I mean? From this point on, nothing. Let's go. All right, straight into it. What's going on? Happy coming into the scene. I smell something. Rich. You smell something. I mean, Nacho does have a really good uh, sense of smell. He said he smells something freaky. That's what brought him here. He's crying. He does. That's what I'm saying. He doesn't look evil. So what's going on? Black wizard. Hmm. Is that his magic? I just want to see what's the relationship right now. Clear that up right now. What's his, why does he know Natsu? And why is he on his island? An island that no one's supposed to be able to find. You've grown up nice and strong. I wanted to meet you, Natsu. What is this going on? I feel like it. I feel like what's coming is about to come. What I think is about to happen is coming. You hitting it without having no information. What's going on? This is not even Natsu's attitude. He's smiling. Man, I'm not even tripping. You're not ready. Not to, you can't get. What is going on? The smooth touch. Wait, wait, wait. What? Wait. What the fuck is he talking about? Talking about you don't. You can't destroy me. Wait, what, what, what do you mean? This shit looking weirder than I actually thought to. This shit about to happen again. The magic that steals away life. I already knew that's what it was. Whoa, Natsu's in it. What the fuck does this mean? Oh, 
Wait, did it not affect you? What's happening? Or did that shit not hit you? Or did he like restrain himself? Or is he gone? What's going on? He disappeared. I think he restrained himself. I thought he lucky took took his clothes. This hey, this scarf is cool though. But he turned the scarf black. Maybe the inner scarf took the print. The scarf is magical, you think? I actually don't know no more. He doesn't seem like he's evil, but at the same time, he did say some shit like Natsu's not ready yet. He can't destroy him yet. If I read that right. And this was looking weird too because he's the magical power of this pressure. It's him. He's here on the other. What is going on? Like, I know you're not supposed to be on this guild, but you're framing something. And I don't know how easy he have everyone believing it. I feel like it's a magic. At the same time, a new danger is fast approaching Teneru. Who are these people got? I remember this ship. This is that one girl. Give my heart in one corner. This is the one girl. What's her name again? What the fuck is her name again? I forgot her name. I know her name, but I forgot her name. Yultir, yeah. What the fuck are they working on again? Like, what, what's the, what's their deal? Whoa! Hold up! I am fucking forgetting these people were damn near on that zero shit this whole fucking time this anime started. Whoa, that shit escaped my mind. The Black Wizard Zerif. This is the doof that was making all them items from the beginning. Now, shit, I'm not gonna ignore Urza, you're looking bad, but. Oh, hold up. I feel like I said that this wizard that they were hyping up in the patch was going to be something in the story. I'm going to look at my reaction in the beginning, but I feel like I said some shit like this. Zeref is this dude? Whoa, this is actually looking wholly different now because what's this attitude he got going on? And why does he know not to? I'm actually confused now. Everything I thought was fucking stupid. The, the black scarf is actually way cooler, guys. It's actually cooler though. <laughs> Not to trust me, it's cooler. <laughs> but at the same time, why does he know Natsu? So back to the exam. That's actually uh, uh, funny how you guys are ignoring the whole thing, but hey, fuck it. He was really freaky. That's what I'm saying. He is weird. I actually feel like he lost his memories. That's what I'm saying. He actually feels like he wants to fight now too. I mean, they did talk about someone that's been on this island and shit, so... And this is a sacred fairy tale island, so I guess he was gonna know shit. What is his plan? Oh, I'm betting he's with those people, with the Yultir guys. It make, that makes a lot more sense. You right, they've been on this shit since episode two, three. I mean, like episode six, I would say, or something like that, but yeah. And isn't like he like nah I don't think Zeref had anything to do with the Horacio Say stuff, but he did have something to do with what happened before. Who the fuck is this? I turn to ashes. Is this fire? 
This guy was crazy. I was born. Are you trying to say born? <laughs> I'm guessing these are like a new Oracion says. Is this six people? At the same time, am I tripping? The Zara stuff had to do with Oracion says. I don't know because it looked like Yuri was behind everything all the whole time. I don't know. I know that they were trying to revive the Nirvana shit. Okay. Okay, this whole group seemed like they're about to pull up to Teneru. The only people that look like they hyped up is one of the dudes that was laughing and shit with the fire and the bull. Look calm. Yeah, the dude with the yellow hair looks cool. This girl on the left, too, she looks like she'll be a crazy magician. Yimuro Heart. Battle is on Fairy Tale, let's get it. He's out here sitting on the fucking grave of I forgot who. Mavis. Yeah. I mean, finally this shit doesn't seem like he's some easy shit. Y'all all seem like y'all just in the forest and Master seem like he in a little temple or something. It seems like this test is kind of weird. It isn't trying to test strength or anything. Especially to become an S-class wizard. Weird, but okay. <laughs> Lucy just stay having her spirits out chilling, especially this little buddy. I mean, I guess so. He never do action. Are you really gonna ignore that? <laughs> I'm actually dead. <laughs> they were actually stalking on getting information. I bet. <laughs> and that shit just happened. <laughs> Karma is a bitch. <laughs> Not really, but okay. I mean, maybe, I don't know. Lucy, you're pretty cool. It's funny because Lucy, she seemed like she would find this shit. That's the funny thing. She actually seemed like she would find this shit. And I did say in the beginning, I do think Kana's going to win this shit and become the S-Class because she has a reason that's really killing her to become the S-Class. They're funny. I knew that they were trying to get information though. <laughs> she was really capping, letting Wendy be in that much danger. Thinking that she was gonna go look for Wendy when she went to go do shit with fucking Gray. Who was not even gonna go look for her if that was the case? She didn't give a fuck either. That's all she cared about. Jimmy! <laughs> She's like a Pokemon. <laughs> Damn, Urza, I'm really enjoying your fan service, Sark, man. <laughs> you just out here chilling with a bra and like your bathing suit, you feel me? Not even in the ocean. Literally, it's, I guess it's that hot. This is, th wasn't this where they were? Oh, when she whooping your ass? <laughs> she apologized for whooping your ass. I do imagine Urza winning this shit. That's the funny thing. <laughs> you have to have responsibilities. <laughs> she said, once you commit to that, ain't for the games no more. <laughs> Julia don't like she even care about becoming an S-Class. I swear, all she cares about is knowing where Grey's at and having a fucking... Yeah, y'all already know. <laughs> It's all good, Urza. We understand you is a hardcore. You feel me? You just go crazy when you when you fight. Like I feel you. <laughs> That's for real. They really don't. I I doubt they would. <laughs> yes, please go do that. Oh, she really doesn't even want to do that at the end of the day. Crazy <laughs> on the quest. Let him do his shit. He don't even care about you. Ah, <laughs> oh, the sister reunion.
I feel how happy she would be. Like, I just wonder how she should feel seeing how how much she changed. I mean, yeah, Mary Jane was still crazy hardcore before she left. At the same time, I guess Adela's Mary Jane was soft too. So, <laughs> gosh, yo, Levy, I forgot their group is actually a cool squad. Levy that has nothing to worry about. Choose a path, find a grave, shit, whatever. I do want to see those type of fights though. Gaju is not getting the screen time he deserves. I mean, Gaju has saved you. Come on, let me chill out. <laughs> Gaju, you're actually funny for throwing everything she said to the side. <laughs> wow, she's gonna be mad off this shit, I think. I mean, that's just how it is. That happens. That happens when you do this shit, guys. You. <laughs> you don't do that shit to little girls. They hate shit like this, low key. Trust me. I think I've been in that situation before. <laughs> Just because they ain't small, don't mean they weak, guys. You. <laughs> At the same time, she like she got a little crush on him. That's probably why she did that shit, you know. Girls be having these. No, you don't. No, you don't. You be having them mixed feelings. You. The fact, the reason why you're saying you hate him is because you actually like him. That's actually the funny thing. Like, no one ever brought this up. But then you getting all these flashbacks. Okay. Okay, we seeing a little shit ball with Gaji and Levy. What is this? Oh, I like what I'm seeing because I know what's going to happen. <laughs> they gave us that little flashback so that we can get another one of the savings. Gaji, pull up. Gaji, pull up. I'm already fucking knowing. I'm already fucking knowing. Another one, Levy. Another one. Uh, hey, he told you he was gonna get your back, though. You feel me? Anything that tries to happen, hey. Ha, uh, you gonna feel your emotions again. Ha, uh, so don't leave my side. Yes, sir. You got a fucking. Hey, hey, hey. I see the ship off with Levy and guys here. She smiles. She already know that even though this nigga acting like you fucking you a little girl, he knows you're strong. What? Yeah, what is this mark also? Oh, it's these motherfuckers? I, I thought this was actually a test part of this shit, but alright. When the fuck do these motherfuckers put up to the guild to find this shit? That's what I'm saying. They didn't even show how they broke in. Apparently this island is supposed to be not found though, right? Well, on S -class, on an S-class job, all more than that. That's what he said. Yeah. Yeah, for whatever he said. <laughs> I feel you, guys. Yeah, I feel you. I just want to see you go off. These niggas don't like they hype. That we care too much. I just don't give a fuck. That's exactly what happens with dark gears. That's all it is. I feel like y'all small fry. Alright, so are they gonna say how they found the island? I feel you, that's actually tough though. He can't deal with the fucking color on color, so he flipped it, I see. <laughs> they always see what they got in the background, the way they look like they're, like, they look like the next episode's about to be recapped or something like this. It's actually hyped the way they're doing this transition right here. I can tell this like the end of the episode. The battle some of the legendary Black Wizard is there from now beginning. That's the narrator talking, that ain't you fucking talking. Yeah, that's the narrator talking. I love this OST at the end of the day throw in here. But at the same time, this Zerv dude, even though he's hyped up to be this dark wizard, why does this nigga seem like he's not bad? Why does it seem like, he, or, or he just lost his memories? He seemed like how Jalal was when they revived him and wanted him to find uh, Nirvana. That's exactly how he seems, but 
I don't really know. It's kind of unpredictable. I really thought that he was going to be related to Natsu, but that's looks like it's really out the window at this point because he's Zero. I remember when they were talking about Zero since the beginning as a super ancient dark wizard. But yeah, it's looking really wild. I don't even know how he knows Natsu. They haven't said nothing about that. Unless it has to do with some Dragon Slayer hype. He is the fire Dragon Slayer. But yeah, we finna see what's up at the end of the day. We finna get into the next episode right now. All right, back. So the motherfuckers from the above done dropped down on us. Oh me, can you ask some question about Miss? Cause we don't know shit about him. Miss uses uh that you know <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> On me you don't. He really isn't. I'm glad, it's kind of weird that he realizes first, he's barely even been a member of Fairy Tale. he wouldn't know people that was in there before him, you feel me? But the fact that he mentioned that he was a, a acquaintance, or a princess of Mystical makes it that he has his two cents in it. Yeah, he has his two cents in there. Yeah, that's all y'all know. When you ever mention it, it's cloudy and vague, period. You don't fuck all that shit. Let Panther get to the nigga and transform and fight. Where your sword at, bro? I want to see that shit. No kissy cap. I forgot bro could transform by the same time. He can't hold it for long. I don't know what's the limit, but what the fuck just happened? Oh, shit. I don't actually know if he's weird or evil now. <laughs> Are you really just worried about that? By the same time, he hasn't really done anything. So I kind of feel you, but they're really not worried about how powerful that nigga could probably be. He damn near destroyed all this fucking uh, island around y'all, and he could have killed y'all. And they're not worried about that type of power? <laughs> That's there if y'all fucking with right there. Hunt the fairy. This shit actually sounds like it's fucking up the eardrums. Soul of Iron. This has got to be some Gajil hype. Let's get it. I'm with it. Oh, let me have this type of magic. Oh, I forgot. I, I, I kind of didn't even know how her magic was. I just know that she was rewriting Miss, uh, Freed shit. What happened there? I don't even know what happened. Me, this blur noise shit is even making the whole screen blurry. I don't even like it. Silent. Please silent the whole shit. Give me a good screen. Thank you. I was thinking if I was watching a bad quality episode for a sec. Thank you. That shit helps a lot. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. It's time. Fire. She says anything she. Anything she writes happens. Alright, that's her magic. Wasn't really clear about it or I just probably forgot about it. I don't be hyping her up too much. His magic's kind of cool though. The fact that he slashes it and it happens. Slash, slash happens. He's scripting with, with his sword type shit. Like, he don't even have to slash him a distance. Kind of makes me think of Law's power if y'all know about that. That shit actually cut you? I know you aren't. Ooh! This nigga with dragon scales on him. Wait, is that his dragon force? Cause I know not to when he has that shit is dragon force. So what's happening, guys? You just went full on iron body. All right, no, I remember when you did that shit. It was way hype, but you're doing that shit like you mastered it. If that's not his dragon force, what's his dragon force? When Gaji is in his iron scale mode, his voice changes. That's actually super cool. Damn, I didn't think he was going to take this much damage from these motherfuckers. I thought these motherfuckers were small for our but it's all good. They putting up a tough fight. Let's go, Gajil, the Iron Soul. This nigga's a hard swordsman, y'all. He tough. Jackie. He hit him with the soul moves, and I ain't even going to lie. He hit him with it. Gajil, I want to see your redemption right now. Don't even play. You Iron. This shit should not cut you.
Damn. Trying to treat my nigga like he's small fry. Main force, you say. On oh, me, it look like they not even the hype motherfuckers. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's funny because doesn't he know about like them motherfuckers, like the Grimmar Hearts? And then doesn't he kind of know about that shit? Wasn't he like, I know he wasn't part of that shit, like the, the capturing Zeref and all that shit. But doesn't he like know about that shit or like, didn't your tear and them have a connection to what these motherfuckers was fucking with us with? Oh no, Iron. Oh shit, eat up. I be forgetting that iron is kind of hard for him to obtain. It's not like it be iron laying around forests. She just laid a whole ton of iron in front of him. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. See, I know when I see Natsu do this shit, it's hype. Guys, you don't got the sound to it to make it hype. Because he be actually chunking and munching. But the OST is backing it up. This is exactly what's going to happen. This is when you find Natsu. That's exactly what's making you think of. You feeling like you in that position right now, Kashi? You? You're gonna taste the fucking fear. He ain't saying the same fear. He's saying the fucking fear. I don't care. I put it in my own fucking words. Ooh, something is about to happen, but Kashi is about to go crazy. Let me just go back to him first. Like, you don't get a lot of Kashi hype, but you know, Levy. Get up, man. You was, you was candidate to be an S-Class. Oh, the fucking sound effect right there. All right? These niggas is like they actually putting up a good fight, though. Even though I thought they were really small for our guys. The egg shit is actually for ass. Like, what the fuck? Levy's not here to burn it, so what's gonna happen? <laughs> I don't even know if these eggs are supposed to do damage to you. They're just eggs, man. Bro, I want to see Gajir go Dragon Force. Now that I'm thinking about it, if that shit was not Dragon Force, then what the fuck is your Dragon Force, bro? Me, let him know, bro. Let him know, bro. Gajir is tough, y'all. <laughs> it's funny because Gajir, don't, he barely call out his attack. You know what I mean? He's be doing shit. Does that shit actually hurt you guys yet? Oh, trapped. That nigga said. Makinanare. I feel you. I fucking feel you for whatever reason you got going on, guys. Yeah. This nigga just not trying to be left behind. That's all I see right now at this point. I gotta be part of the tops. That's exactly what I see with guys yeah. He is tough. Oh, fuck. All right, this is good. Levy found Ursa. This is actually perfect. Let her know right now. This is actually two strong people that you don't found. Let them know right now. It's too late or what? Oh, I thought, I thought, I thought the Grimoire Hearts were already gonna be down on us, but she still has time to let people know. And you feel me? Whatever we could do to let everyone know, let's just do it. Gajiel, do not let this shit break your iron. His shit, you're an iron dragon slayer, bro. Kind of is like flip roll. It's like how you're putting yourself. I like how he's, I like how he's doing it like this, like. He's putting himself on the opposite side. All right, but we're getting a little flashback of Phantom Lord. Phantom Lord didn't have nothing to do with Aizen. With, why the fuck I said Aizen? With fucking uh, Zeref. All right, they didn't have nothing to do with that shit. With the Zeref and the Yule tier, but I would suggest they had information because they were all dark guild that were like, Oh, fuck it. We're getting the flashback of how Gajio got took to the guild. It's exactly what's going on. Master pulling up. We just never got this. They just said he was part of the guild. Was he just alone in his own guild? His old guild? That, this is the guild that we fucked up, huh? We never got this at the end of the day. Now I'm thinking about it. He was just chucking on irons and shit by himself. This is a good reason to get him in there. He was just chilling alone, literally. It's not like he was trying to just go doing some evil shit, I guess. Which is actually smart of him. It kind of makes me think of Vegeta. 
At the same time, let me know something about this. Was it just like a task? Yeah. Well, like, what was your relationship with your guild? Yeah. Because for Gaji to have the, the dedication that he has right now, this actually is a good time to put this in. Let me know what's going on with the Iron Soul. It was like a task, I feel like. Come to fairy tale, live on, do what you gotta do, and make friends. Come to the light. Come to the light, literally, yo. Oh me, come to the light, yo. That shit is actually legendary moments, yo. Like they literally wait till now to give me. And gosh, she was one of my favorite characters, y'all. At this point, like I've been said this shit ever since he didn't take the bait from like the old girl. I don't want to destroy the gear. He like guys, he was like, how the fuck you wanna let me come to your gear if I destroyed your gear? That's exactly how guys is feeling right now. I hurt your friend. Literally. How you gonna let me join your gear if I did this shit? That's the question guys you gave to Master Makara. Jeez, I didn't expect that answer. He got mad for a second. Jeez. Come redeem yourself in my guild. Yeah, path to tomorrow type shit. <laughs> Jeez, this is a deep forged relationship right there. Like he's gonna fuck. It's like it's like your captain, like Zoro on his captain type shit. He said, "Yeah, my redemption is right here. Dragon scale under the fucking iron dragon fist, or the fucking iron fist of the fucking iron dragon, bro. Literally, bro. He can't. You really can't, bro. You got a reason now, bro." You got a reason, bro. I really fuck with Gajil, y'all. I really fuck with Gajil. Like, I really fuck with Gajil. You fucking eat your katana. <laughs> hey, let's get it. Let's fucking get it, Gajil. Yo, Seeker Dragon Slayer art. We barely seen some of your Seeker Dragon Slayer, Gajil. What's you, what you finna pull out today? Gigantic sword? Wait, I feel like we see this one. I don't remember this. I feel like we see this shit. I remember seeing the Karma Demon. I do actually remember seeing this shit. I remember, I forgot what fight this shit was. But he did the Karma Demon. Open the fucking gigantic Ichigo sword type shit. Woo! Let's get it, Gajil. Gajil, like, yeah. Y'all ever ask my top three, I'm probably gonna say Urza Natsukashio. <laughs> Make your hand come out. <laughs> Sheesh, I actually don't want Gajil to be fucking. They do this shit to Gajil. They do this shit on purpose. When the hype motherfuckers come, Gajil has to get a fight with them niggas. Like, if Gajil's already taking this much damage, he's already out for the arc, I'm saying. Hopefully not. Sheesh, that's what it's looking like. With a smile. Sheesh, told y'all I was gonna win. I already knew. Ha! I already knew. Yeah, this is where y'all relationship even gets even deeper. They laughing because they know that the main guild is coming. It's over. That's what they laughing about. Yep, I'm already knowing. It's already too late. You didn't even tell no one in the fucking guild around us. The seven kin of purgatory. Oh, I thought it was a new Orasion Se. It's an Orasion Set. Seven kin. Do you know about this? I'm halting the exam. All right, she's about to give a signal. This is actually amazing. Like, we have a signal. Condition red. Prepare to to whatever. What the fuck she said? To instill whatever the fuck she said. Long story short, there is danger, master. You see this? We have enemies. The test has to come to a halt. We all have to regroup. And you know what I mean? We have to get a plan set. The black wizard Zara, that nigga's been hyping us since the beginning, is right here. And motherfuckers about to turn into a dark side. So whatever's going on, y'all should get to it first. He looked like he's sad and don't know what's going on. That's going to be best to our advantage, literally. I mean, you guys have already seen him as an enemy, but don't see it like that yet. He seemed like he didn't even want to hurt y'all motherfuckers. But at the same time, I guess he's just hyping shit up. <laughs> I'm trying to think about the easiest way to get through this shit now. <laughs>
She feels like she was so close. Yeah, she's the one to drop the exam because enemies came. But kind of, we do have danger going on. You got to fucking, you feel me? Put your person. Yep, everyone feels the same. You feel me? You got to put your feelings aside. We got to do this shit as a guilt. <laughs> this nigga said, don't snitch on us. We just happened to be here on the game. You feel me? That's exactly what Greg coming in for. But fucking that. Enemies is coming. This exam has to come to a fucking stop. You feel me? All right, at least, at least I have an emergency meeting place. You feel me? Get the information we need to know what's going on. This nigga fucking Loki was about to really snitch on niggas. Er is a requip. It's time to go crazy. It sucks that Gaji's already fucking damaged. Like, the main battle's about to fucking begin. Fucking hate what they do to Gaji on this fucking uh, anime. Like, shit! This nigga deserve. She's really just simping on gay like that? Bro, we need Gajir more time, yo. No cap, bro. Like, I'm getting tight. So my, he's one of my favorite Dragon Stairs now. Is that a... This nigga fucking let it go like that. And look at the reaction. Zeref is here on this island. Impossible on me. Zeref lived hundreds of years ago. 400 years, yes. Sheesh. All this stuff was all connected. You, that's what I'm saying. Like literally. I mean, Jalal ain't the Orasio says, but Jalal in he's not Orasio says, but Jalal himself always has something to do with Zara. Wait, he's been he's never died apparently. He's been currently sleeping. He's just been on this island that no one's seen, huh? So I'm guessing Nas is the only person that could beat Zara. That's why he knows about him. Y'all gotta be kidding if Natsu ain't the main character. Like, this is actual shit hyping up right now. Natsu the only nigga that can beat this nigga. Seven kin of purgatory are hype, y'all. And Yule Tear is part of it this time. It's not like she's in the background. Alright, Rusty, I don't know your name like that. The fucking Caprio balls. Kane. Zancro. He was hype. Zancro, like, he got Dragon Slayer magic, y'all. Literally. Literally doing what shit not to doing. I, I could, I, 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 bro, y'all know I predict this shit. That looks like he got the same type of magic as not to right there. I'm not even gonna be hyped if they say that shit. Like, I'm not. What is Mess's deal? He seems like he's weird, but he, at the same time, he is part of the Zare shit. He's looking for Zare. Alright, but we found him. Get away from it right. All right, we're gonna reveal shit, I guess. Yeah, reveal shit right now, not now, right now. We found out, man. So we already know what the deal is. You're fake. No, you're not. Whoa! I was fucking saying this shit, yo. This nigga fucking transformed. Fuck all that shit. No cap in this bitch. Matter of fact, fuck that shit. We finna get another episode in right now, y'all. I, I, yeah, yeah. We finna get it in right now. We finna see what's up. So yeah, yeah. Stay tuned. All right. So are we finna go to a meeting place right now? I can't believe there's live on this side. Quality got better on this episode for some reason, but hey, I'm with it. Wait, she knows about them. She knows about the Grimmore part, the Grim <laughs> Master Grimmore Guild or whatever. Grimmore Hearts. Alright, but it's all good. They found Wendy. They don't look like they seem they don't like they seem the alert though. I don't know how long he could hold this form for because they did tease him to get like he can't hold it for too long. But if he could hold this shit for at least ten minutes, whew, he's OP like, like for somewhat, you know what I mean? If that's his magic, then he's not even that strong. That's probably just his magic. Ooh. Ooh. The fact that apparently all you already knows all that shit is like he seemed like he's been in the guild for so long, but oh shit. 
underestimated miss. He teleported. Or what the fuck? Yeah, he teleported. Wait, does he need Wendy? In particular? If he teleports her out of here, it's looking wild. I don't know what's going to happen. Makarov charge. Ooh, like I said, I don't know what's going to happen. He teleported out of here. Where does he have to go? I, I think his teleportation magic is not too far of a distance. Then, then actually we have a, a chance of fighting. Wait, who's this? Who's this? Do you, does this nigga have backup? He protected Wendy. What do you mean? From what? Is the Grimoire Pirates, uh, the Grimoire Hearts or Zara? What the fuck is this shit? You did well seen through me. What the hell is this? My name is Azuma. Was he part of the Grimmer part? Oh, Alright. I'm one of the seven members of, this, of the kin of the Purgatory. Which one is he? Is he the bull? Because I did think the bull was going to be strong. And he doesn't like he's a serious one. What was his name again? What the fuck they said his name again? Caprio? Or Carpio? So she is, he is, he is part of that. He didn't just, why did he save Wendy then? After the magic count, whoa! Why would the magic council do that though? But at the same time, he says he's with them. So he's a dark member of the council? I actually don't even recognize the dude that they showing right here. Who? I don't, I don't recognize you. I don't, did they show, whoa! He's playing a double-edged sword right now. And boom. They took him out real quick. But I don't even recognize this dude. What they say your name was? Pantley, do you have a weapon? Where's your sword? Oh, Makara finna go crazy. This is where Makara redemption is. I just got goosebumps right here. Off the title on this right here. It's about to go crazy. He finna turn into the biggest titan in the whole city. Did y'all not see the flare? I sure hope you do not get cornered here. I thought he was going to get cornered by Zeref at the moment. Because it seemed like he was, he was by himself, but they switched off. That's, I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> this nigga look hype, y'all. Damn, fighting with no weapon. And I don't know if Lily uses magic. They're ex they're so his only magic is wings. What the fuck? Oh, I'm just glad. What did you do? Did you go underground? What happened? I thought he burnt you to the fucking crisp. What's did this shit not affect you? I, I'm, I as long as it's not killing you, bro. <laughs> shit. If only had a sword on me. Where is your shit? Oh, she knows how to enhance people's powers. You're right. Make them feel lighter and all that shit on me. I knew she was a support mage. That makes more sense. She's not meant to be a fighting wizard, I guess. But that sucks with the power that I see, I see Sky can have. Like, it kind of sucks. But okay, it's all right. She's a Sky Dragon. She should have just been a, a Sky Mage, a Sky Mage, a rare Sky Mage. If that was the case, you know what I mean. They should have made her DPS. You know what I mean? But it's all good. She's still cool. 
fuck this nigga on me. He really just tried to do shit to get promoted. And I think about, I low thought he was part of the fucking Grimmore po- Grimmore Heart. He seemed, he seemed like he knew about them coming and shit, but he really just did this shit to get promoted, and he got his shit back ended. <laughs> And he's helping. All right, this is actually tough. Wendy really made this nigga help us. This nigga don't look like he's phased though. Ooh, Tom Burns, he finna pull the. I thought he was finna do an almighty push type shit, but this nigga got fired too. On me. It's gotta be. Quick way to summarize that. Let's go. Not to go there. Suck it all up. This is your first opponent. This nigga look like he fucking hyped though. At the same time, I did not even see this nigga when they were fucking introducing the fucking seven. Was he really part of that shit? They all like some phony motherfuckers except, uh, he fit his limit. I actually, I'm actually glad that it didn't just happen right after you was just having your arm right there. I thought that's when it was going to happen. So it's just, Not to finna pull up here. You really just wait there. Don't worry. It's all good. Not fairy tale. Master Mako I was pulling, I say. That's what this episode fucking called. She. Why are you fucking talking about the grave when we're in danger? Shit. And they're trying to get back to camp. This sucks. That's like I said. Guys, you're not having to fight. Like, how the fuck is he gonna do shit? I don't even know who's going to be fighting at this point. We don't like, we got a lot of tough people that could do this shit now. I mean, we have Urza, we have Natsu, we have Grey. That's about it. And we have Makarov. I mean, I'm tripping. We have Mira Jane if she goes off. But they always, like, like want to, like, not give her a shine. Uh, I forgot to say, you're too bad, too. <laughs> I feel like this nigga's a dragon slayer, guys. And I'm trying to get, I'm, I'm trying to get, I'm kind of getting this little link between Orasio and Sage and these guys. And there might just be one Dragon Slayer. It's looking like he got that fire Dragon Slayer, but I don't know why is his fire black. Oh, it's funny because some of y'all told me this shit back in the fucking comments. This is Yule's daughter. It's kind of weird. I don't know why she's evil. It doesn't make sense to me. But she seems like she's mad for this little girl calling her Yule, like Yule. It's actually weird to me. I don't remember when they ever said that shit, but you guys just told me that shit. This nigga look cool. Ooh, like I thought. Titan. Full on Titan. I wasn't even fucking saying that shit like I thought it was going to happen. That shit just actually happened. I'm not surprised though. This motherfucker's time has come. You fucking with the fucking Mavis Gray? The one that was left for me to look after? You've got to be kidding. <laughs> This nigga don't like he's surprised though. Why are you acting like this? Don't just say be gone. These niggas not gonna take words. Go like this to your wrist and just smash him to the fucking ocean. And let them come out that ship because I know they ain't gonna fall like that. And we can fuck him up. Oh shit. This is actually the past. This is Makara. I didn't expect this anytime soon. But I was wondering when we are gonna see this nigga in his prime. Even though he still looks old here. This is Mavis, I'm guessing. When he was telling him that he's going to be the master of the fairy tale after him. Or the third or whatever, whatever the fuck he said. Third master, I guess Mavis was the second. From Mavis to me and I know from me to you, Magarov. Just the future of fairy tale to me. Don't fuck with this nigga today, yo. He not in the mood. I feel like he's gonna be slow in this shit, but shit, no, he hit, he hit, he hit, he hit, yeah, yeah, I don't even know what's gonna happen, yo, <laughs> but I know that this shit is not gonna destroy all of them, them niggas gonna scatter, and they're gonna come to the island, and we're gonna get fights going on, so let's get it, at the same time, it is hype that Makarov is going crazy on niggas, you feel me, I feel like Makarov is just one v one their master. And I hope this shit doesn't knock out Makarov, though. Like, I really hope it doesn't. Oh, God. Like, don't let this shit be no... Don't let no small fry shit knock y'all like this shit. 
Let it be a fucking one-on-one or something if you go down, Makarov. At the same time, I do not see you dying. Well, not anytime soon. He is a fucking uh, 10 Wizard Saint motherfucker, right? Oh, yeah, she did have that little time. Oh, shit, I didn't know her magic could do this shit. I did, actually, I do remember, I forgot what did she do this shit with, but she has time magic at the end of the day. It's OP. She restored the whole ship. Sheesh. So, wait, before this episode, did they just not introduce the other dude? Was he already on the island? I should do a micro. All right, bet. I did want to see a one on one. Let's wait. You some of them motherfuckers? What's your magic? You got Shadow Clone Jutsu or what? But just like I thought, this motherfucker's gonna scatter. Like, I know that Makarov's not gonna take off the whole seven. Like, Fairy Law. I already know. Fairy Law. Wait, wait, is he not going to see these people as enemies? Why is it, what does this nigga sound like he know about this whole magic and he's not spooked? Wait, so did Natsu pull up here and these people are already gone? I thought that motherfucker was going to stay here and sit tight till motherfuckers came whoop his ass. He's like, was it you? I mean, you don't know this nigga, right? <laughs> Alright, I knew it. His magic worn off. Now these niggas don't even think about it no more like that. They're gonna explain it now. Oh, like how they did this. Wasn't these like in the first episode? How he reacted just by knowing he's part of the Magic Council, even though he's Loki doing some treacherous shit that should fuck him up. Oh shit! The reinforcements is coming. Where's the old dude that was just have was just here? Like, where is he at? What is this nigga doing? Oh shit, so the fact that he did that shit, was that like his magic dropping motherfuckers? Or was it just like an item something that he was just using to grab his soldiers or something? They're actually crazy for doing that shit, dropping a whole bunch of soldiers on the island. This is damn near giving everyone the whole fairy tale to fight right now, even though there's only seven hyped up people. Even Camp won't be safe, but shit, Mary Jane, let's see you go, Satan, so you was just doing it not too long. So get right back into that mode. Why the fuck do you have a pan? Like, like, what, is my mind deceiving me right now? <laughs> I thought that was like a mistake or something. <laughs> Unless you're gonna fight with a pan. You, why you guys see why y'all not even fucking surprised? I mean, y'all do know enemies here, but that's a lot of numbers on y'all motherfuckers. The fact that these people are no, are numerous, that that probably says that they're probably weak. These these soldiers or whatever, we should just whoop them up real quick. And the seven motherfuckers should come, unless we just gotta whoop Caprio and take off all these motherfuckers. This nigga seems so not chill lot. Where was he? Like, Shall we see this nigga? My my, here comes a noisy bunch. So I'm guessing that he had already left before. This nigga's a dragon slayer. I'm already calling that shit. This is like the updated Oracion set. This nigga's stupid. He made me think of the fucking uh, prophet nigga. You already know. Do you not like wars? That's why you just went to sleep, I would say. Why would you create all the magic stuff? Why are you hyped up to be a bad dude? I don't think he's bad, though. We'll see, guys. He doesn't seem like he's bad, though. The fairy law. He said grimoire law. They got their own law.
For a second, bro, I really thought he was about to say Master Mavis, and I was about to be like, what the fuck? At the same time, I don't know who the master is. I'm, I'm still confused, guys. All right, so right now, I'm really confused. Like, he it's his old master? And is he, like, fairy tale old master? I'm actually confused, guys. Right now, all I can say is my memory card don't have too much space after putting those three episodes in. I got two minutes in to say what I got to say. And all I can say is that I don't know what to expect now. Like, all I can say is one thing. I do think that the dude with the yellow hair is a dragon slayer. After seeing him emit his magic power like that, just like how Natsu does, and how they say how, how people can't be able, be able to summon magic like that except for dragon slayers. So I'm already having that intel when I see dragon slayer. And he's looking like it. So I don't know how that's going to go off with everyone pulling up and you feel me? We look like we had, we're going to have a great war. And Zerub doesn't look like he wants to fight, so... His legend is kind of blur. Like, I don't know if they missed anything out because he seems like he's not bad. He literally did not want to kill motherfuckers. And shit. The fairy tale master shit. That shit is all. I like, guess it's, it's weird now. I don't know. I thought shit was going to be predictable, but shit, that was looking like this. I don't know. But all I can say is that if you guys like that reaction, you guys got to hit that like button. I'm going to get the next episodes in probably like tomorrow because this arc is really something to binge. Like, it's really good right now. So I'm just going to binge it. And you guys already know, y'all. Expect the, the next episode pretty soon. I'm going to watch it tomorrow. I'm going to just try to clear space and get it in. But yeah, I'm going to get it in tomorrow. And I ain't going to say too much. Hit that like button, subscribe button. Patreon will have full version early reactions to a whole lot of episodes. So if you're watching this right now on YouTube, we're way ahead again. And yeah, hit that like button. Don't forget, if you're going to watch this on YouTube, the next episode going to come out if you hit that like button. And that's all I got to say. I'm going to catch y'all next video. Night Genie out. Peace. <laughs>